Hello, I'm glad that you're here. It has been a time. Earlier this week, I had gone camping with my family and I, at first, was intending to vlog it. And then, if you watched the last vlog at the end, like, I'm feeling a little bit sizzly. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm burnt out, but I would say there's a little simmering under the surface. So I decided that I was just gonna go just going to enjoy being outside, the simplicity of camping, and it was great. What a great idea. Forgot a whole bunch of stuff. So I had to stop off and buy sleeping bags and new air mattresses. Like, could not find any of this stuff because all of our garage stuff is still sat out on our driveway. We are almost finished with sheetrocking the garage and it should be painted early next week and hopefully we can start putting things back in which would be great because Owen's birthday is next week and we're gonna have a barbecue on his actual birthday day. So we're walking through the store and I was like, I also forgot my book. So I did grab this, which I have read and finished already. I did a big bulk of it while we were out camping. So it's just nice sitting and like the weather was perfect. So sitting out in the perfect weather, reading a book. I did enjoy this. And so we're gonna be watching the movie soon. So this has been fun. This has been good to like get back into reading, which I just have not been doing since before the spring. So I have not really done any reading. So it's good to finally like finish a book. But some terrible news that while we were gone camping during the entire like getting ready process, Mulligan ended up outside on the porch, which he likes to hang out and chill but then he got shut out there. And that was, I think he has been outside since Monday, we determined from using our security cameras. And last night I did see him on the woods line as I opened up a can of tuna. And then I was like, Mulligan. And then he ran off again into the woods because he is a very skittish boy. He just so nervous but now at least we know what part of the woods he's kind of chilling and hiding in so we have resorted to a have a heart trap because i don't know that we'll be able to get him back inside without one so i've just been literally stressed out for the last since i realized he was gone since we've gotten back i'm glad to have spotted him yesterday that made me feel a bit better but it's just another night of him having been outside so i'm hoping that we can get him and bring him back inside so it's been pretty terrible um uh, emotionally these last few days so i'm going to keep peeking outside and before i had laid eyes on him yesterday i've been trying to pick away at our house because it is a disaster zone but i just kept looking out the window and like just not being able to focus like i went from it was like 10 a.m and then i swear the next time i looked at the clock it was quarter past three and i have no idea where that time went i was just gone i was just absent a bit but now that i saw him last night and we've got this trap out hopefully we can get him sooner rather than later. I would feel a lot better, but expect that. There will be a lot of cleaning and tidying in this video because it's a mess. I've just been sat like staring out the window just watching to see if we've gotten mulligan like I plan to take the kids to the library today and like no I'm gonna be like 
watching. So I thought, you know what, while I'm like kind of sat standing in like this kind of relative area, why don't I order groceries for delivery today? We are so out of food. So, so, so out of food. We are like picking and scraping the bottom of the barrel, like the back of the pantry. So I'm gonna order online. I'm not gonna go in for a shop because again, I just wanna be watching for the kitty and shopping with the kids the other week was like enough for a little while. So I am gonna just go onto the Hannaford's app. I'm gonna go into some recent purchases, add some of these things to the cart and go from there I think is the way to do it. And then that'll get delivered today. They actually do have a time slot for today, not until the afternoon. So it's better than getting it tomorrow, so. The issue is I'm like in a zone right now that I am not really thinking about meal building and I've been really bad about meals lately. I just feel like I am not on any kind of schedule and I just can't be left alone long enough to like cook anything either. So it's like, it's really just frustrating. So we were gone for those few nights and before I left, I forgot to water these. So um, the dill did not make it. I'm surprised we kept it al alive for as long as we did, but it's gone now. I'm gonna have to maybe look into something like, a, you know, window sill herbs, which is what these are. Maybe something a little hardier. Is basil one that you can grow? on the side, maybe some ro rosemary, is that one? I don't, any ideas would be welcomed um, because the dill did not work and I don't know what I did wrong. So if you do know what I did wrong with the dill, please let me know. Maybe just not enough seeds, do they need more friends? Obviously I didn't water them <laughs> enough. That one I know, <laughs> that's, that's one issue I do know about, but any advice would be great. I, I would love to have a little windowsill garden. I think that'd be cute. I have been keeping this on the side of my sink and then with the plants right on the windowsill, it reminds me to water them. And then because I'm watering the little plants, it reminds me to water the big plants. So all of those plants that my mom had brought me, like the Christmas cactus and the spider plant, and then the plant that Owen brought me for Mother's Day is actually getting watered because I have to leave this out so I can see it. So I'm thinking about maybe getting a like a little bit more of a decorative one to keep on the side because again out of sight out of mind like it would not happen if I put this away. This used to live under my sink and when it lives under my sink I don't remember to water anything so I need it to be out. I'm just gonna go water the bigger plants right now while I'm thinking about it or else it won't get done. Honestly, right now I feel so detached from like my own body. Like I just have been watching this trap all day long. I feel like I can't get out of my own way, but it's felt like that because remember we're sizzling. We're not burning out yet. We're just at like a little sparkler sizzle at the moment, but I'm just exhausted, like mentally drained. And are you someone who also struggles with like visual sensory overload because there is such a pile up of all of our stuff everywhere and it is grinding me down <laughs> in a way that I just don't feel like I can handle and I feel so powerless to it today. I know I can clean it and it wouldn't take that long but I can't get myself started. I would just like my cat to come home now. Summertime, summertime sadness. The groceries are getting dropped off like in two hours. So I should do myself a favor and clean out the fridge while it is empty because there's some stuff in here that I'm just like, why is that in here still? This is how bleak it's looking at the moment. And all of these need washing off. So I think that that's gonna be the plan of action in this moment is to take stuff out, throw stuff away, recycle what needs to be recycled, and just make 
space help my future self out. What I'm learning on my runs is to be more present and just like in my body, which I just, I don't know if that's what's contributing to me not feeling that way right now. I'm just feeling like very detached from my body and I, maybe I'm doing a lot of focusing on my runs to stay in my body or, or like just working out that like muscle a little bit more for that and now I'm just like too exhausted to do it in my regular life. But I'm gonna try to be here and not looking out the window too much. <laughs> I keep messing up this cat rescue mission. I went back out to where I've seen him and I know he is and I was stupid and I brought the dog and the dog just chased him further into the woods. I am literally so devastated. I feel like I have scared him off two times now and then he's only going deeper into the woods and I'm feeling less optimistic that he's ever gonna be inside again or like safe inside. And I'm just really struggling right now. The kids are mostly getting it. <laughs> They're like, can we do this? Can we do this? I'm like, I am so sad right now. I just, I cannot put on a brave enough face to play trucks with you. We have like played Candyland and I've watched Owen do a little puzzle, but I'm just like, I am sad. I'm just I'm so frustrated with myself too for like the last two nights or like with the last two interactions and I'm just trying to like imagine really positive thoughts like him coming to the door or like being out there or coming to me when I call like like have a homeward bound moment. I don't know why I thought we would have a touching homeward bound moment when he is so skittish. He will not come to me outside. He will not come to the door when called. And I'm just like trying to keep myself from going out and checking where I saw him last and the cage just because like I don't want to like bother him if that's like scary. It's just all very emotional <laughs> right now. And the groceries have come and we've put them away and I feel like I've spent so much money and also got nothing at the same time. Yes, no. Oh, and you must be ready for your bath then? Yeah. All right. Stop jumping. Please stop jumping down the stairs, guys. Trying not to go to the cage. I feel like if he was in it, he'd be howling. So, the last time I opened this up and he came out. Online said domestic cats maybe can spell up to. Oops. <laughs> A mile and a half. This is like the seventh can we've opened. My mistake was I stood up and I spoke to him. So this time I'm just gonna sit. Poppy is already asleep. She w came over while I was on my laptop and crawled into my lap and just fell asleep in my arms. And Owen is watching how it's made on YouTube. Well, good morning. <laughs> called the cat, obviously, as you do. I've gone out and checked the trap. Um, the cat was not in it. There was a skunk, though. Oh, poor little girl. She looks like she's probably pregnant. She ate the, f the food meant to entice Mulligan, but I think Mulligan is too familiar with the trap because we've had to use it on him before. In case you weren't around for it, we have had to get him before because he's bit both Dave and I whenever we've tried to put him into a crate before and he doesn't really like being held anyway but then trying to be put into a thing not great so we have used this strap before to move him and transport him when we take him to the vet we have to sedate him like that is like the level of skittish scared and how much he hates being picked up and tried to put into a, a crate. Like, does not matter what kind of crate. Like, don't get a top loading one. Does not work. This cat does not want to be picked up to begin with. He does not want to be handled and put places. Um, I've been bit. 
Dave's in bed. We have to drug him to get him into a crate. So, there's a skunk out there. I told her, cause she looks like she's pregnant. She's just, she was just chilling when I went out. She's just like laid down on her side and just kind of looked at me. I'm like, I am so sorry, but I don't really know how to work the, the trap very well to be able to open it. So I think I, I would kind of be messing around with it too much and stress her out and probably get sprayed. So I was like, hold on, my husband will be out shortly. He will help you out. He's gonna be the one to let you out of the cage. So Dave's gonna do that. Told him to put on the clothes he hates the most, just in case. But she, like I got pretty close to her. She was pretty chill. So hopefully he can let her out of the cage and she'll just scurry off. But it's meant to be warm today. It's meant to be warm all week, but I think I might try leaving the back door open. And maybe tonight we try to cook something inside that might be enticing and like waft some smells out of the house. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get him back over here. I'm gonna assume that something chased him to the woods to begin with or else he would still be just like chilling under the porch so something must have come to chase him into the woods and i know i just i think i just need to stay away because so i think i'm making it worse even though i just want to help and I, I need to just i don't know i don't know i'm running out of ideas successfully reintroduced into the wild. Nothing sprayed, nothing happened, skunk is gone. And while Dave was over there, he said that he heard a noise in that vicinity, it sounded like something kind of like scampered off because he was like kind of clunking around in there trying to get like the cage out, the, the skunk out and keep from being smellied. So I'm going to take that as a sign that Mulligan is still in that part of the woods. It is disgustingly muggy outside it's so gross um but i'm going to just keep my distance this this time just not do anything except for like i put food out on the porch for him and i've opened a morning can of tuna and then i think the evening would be more likely for him to come out so i'm trying to stay busy i'm gonna go through owen's clothes we got given this big tote right here of clothes for Owen. I've already got like a bag of clothes that are too small for Owen. And pretty much everything in here needs swapping out. And yeah, we're just gonna go through this tote real quick. Came from my friend's house. I, I trust the cleanliness of them. Also in the tote, because we swapped back and forth, was this little jacket that both my kids wore um, and her daughter wore after. Um, and I just love this. And she asked me if I wanted it back and I was like, yes, please. It was just a little coat from Walmart, but I just loved the minute, so I'm gonna save it. I try not to save too many items, but this jacket was just too cute. Okay, clothes have been swapped. There are a few things that we still need, are gonna need to buy, like PJs. There weren't many in that little haul that we just got, which is fine. PJs and tank tops. I think everything else is pretty well taken care of. <sighs> and we're thinking about getting some takeout. It's like four o'clock right now. Gonna get some takeout. And I think instead of doing a run today, because today is meant to be a run or cross training, I think I'm going to try to get like 
30 to 40 minutes of a yoga session in just because while I'm out running I feel so stiff like the running bit feels fine but and whenever I have to like look over my shoulder to check for traffic or just like any warm-up stretches where I'm like moving more laterally I just feel so so stiff so I just, I just need to do some stretching I think and actually do an involved yoga session so I think we're gonna do that tonight instead of the run and then eight miles tomorrow is in the plan and I just I haven't left the house in so long but we we're gone for that beginning part of the week and then since like learning Mulligan is a woodland creature now I just don't want to leave I'm like in depression mode <laughs> so I told Dave I want to eat out and he's like do you want to go out and eat no I want the food to come to me I want to stay here and just like eat in my like little sadness den I'm laughing but it's not funny it's just a coping mechanism well it's been a week since I spoke to you last and no mulligan it's been so rough i have been just like emotionally depleted and i have gone out every single day no sign of him so what's that could be a good sign or a bad sign schrodinger's cat at this point of the woods so that's how we're ending this um it's been a busy week and just like hectic and i'm so behind on everything because i've just been so low we'll keep leaving food out for him and calling for him and trying to catch him or catch sign of him i think it might be time to let like people further down from us know that he's out there somewhere because um, we've let like the immediate neighbors whose woods he was hiding in no but if he's gone further we need to alert some new people I don't know what to do so honestly any advice on how to catch a skittish cat who hopefully is still in the woods I am willing to try anything anything Keeping in mind that I've had this cat for over 10 years and when he caught sight of me, stood on my back porch, ran away from me. Like, he is so skittish. So please keep that in mind. Like anybody who, if, if you have a friend who knows who like rescues animals, like street animals, if you have any suggestions or if they have any suggestions, if you can ask them if they have any suggestions. I'm ready to try something else, anything else. I've just, I've run out of ideas and I haven't seen him in over a week. So whatever you think, I'll try it. So thank you for trying to help. And thank you for watching this far. And I'll meet you back here in the next one.